This is happening. Mr. Robinson? Oh, you got the wrong number. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, all right. Can I go to you? Hi, in a geometric sequence, what does the R in the explicit formula represent? Hello? Yeah, hi. Hello? Did, did you get that? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Geometric sequence, what does the R in the explicit formula represent? <laughs> what do you need? Um, I just need help with my math homework. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think I have the wrong number. Okay. Use piss. As soon as I answer, just say it. How can I help you? Hi, in a geometric sequence, what does the R in the explicit formula represent? I'm sorry? In a geometric sequence, what does the R in the explicit formula represent? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I'm talking about math homework. Okay, don't make any friend call, okay? Bye. <laughs> I guess no one's answering our question. Hello? Hello? What is the formula for law of signs? For what? For law of signs. I don't know. Alright. Hello? What is the quadratic formula? Hello? Um, <laughs> hi. Um, what is an imaginary number? Supermarket. Hello? Can you name one method of factoring? What? Can you name one method of factoring? Box method. The box method. The box method? I'm not familiar with box. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hi, quick question. When solving an inequality, dividing by a negative number does what to the inequality sign? How do you convert radians to degrees? Uh, uh, so you're going from radians to degrees? Yes. Alright, so you're going to want to do is, like, how many degrees is it? Um, and how many radians is it? Um... In, in terms of pi. Sure, yeah, it's, a, gonna, it's in terms of pi. Alright, so it's like three pi radians? Sure. Something? Okay, three. I'm sorry? Okay, you have a pi. Up the pies cancel out, and then it would be three. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna multiply it by 180 over pi, and then the pies will cancel out. Thank you for your time. Hello? What does Sokotoa stand for? Well, the F stands for sine. Yes. The C stands for cos, and, uh... 
stands for tangent. The O's and the A's and the H's stand for adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse. You are awesome. Hello? Hi, can you tell me what the quadratic formula is? Uh, I don't know. Alright, thanks. Uh -huh. Hi, can you tell me what the quadratic formula is? The quadratic formula? I have no idea. You have no idea? No. Nope. Alright, then can you describe the tests performed when determining if a graph is a function? Um, uh, no. You little. Hi, can you tell me what the quadratic formula is? The what formula? The quadratic formula. Quadratic formula? It's something to the fourth. It's what, like power. This is a game? Do you think trigonometry is a game? No, this is serious business, my bro. I'm just trying to spread the word. Hey. I just need to know what the quadratic formula is. X equals negative B plus minus radical. Something. I don't remember. Come on. Come on, you're, you're right so there. close. You're right there. Come on. Hello? Hi, can you tell me what the quadratic formula is? Um, I think I know what it is. One second. Alright. Let me just write it down and see if it looks right. Alright. Okay, it's negative b. Yes. Plus or minus, and then the square root thing. Yeah. b squared minus 4 ac. Yeah. And that's all over 2a. You're amazing! Yes. You're amazing! You're amazing! Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. Hello? What does it mean when two things vary inversely? Hello? So what does it mean when two things vary inversely? X, Y equals K. X, Y equals K? Yes. Alright, thank you very much. Can you name one special right triangle? 30, 60, 90. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Yeah.